welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Bell, and I'm going to be your host today, hanging out with one of my good friends, Mr. Tension. How are Hello. you? <laughs> I'm so pumped for today. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. Um, just as kind of a quick recap for those of you who are either just tuning in or have maybe taken a break for a little while, because we've been doing some crazy stuff all day today. Um, today, we're going to be diving into um, some of the new features and things uh, which you can access now um, in Photoshop. And if you folks would like to check out all of these uh, new features and things as well, you can also um, uh, head over to this page here where I'm going to show you where you can get a hold of all of the new um, features and things. So um, if you actually open your Creative Cloud uh, desktop app, um, you can check out to see if your Photoshop has any new updates. You can also go to the updates panel over here on the left hand side and update any apps that need updating so that you can get access to all of those uh, features. You will have access of, as long as you have the uh, regular subscription method for Photoshop or if you are using a free trial of Photoshop, you will have those. Um, you can also come over to the firefly.adobe.com page as well and see that we have also um, some pretty fabulous new things um, popping up here on the main page where we will um, kind of dive in a little bit later on, um, and we're going to show you in just a few moments how um, these two things are kind of working together now. So I'm pretty pumped. Uh, Ted, why don't you let us know um, a little bit about you and what you are going to be taking us through today, because I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Ted, aka Ted's Little Dream. Uh, I'm a digital artist based in San Francisco. Uh, my specialty kind of is like focusing on surreal fantasy art, we you know, with a little like uh, nature and then like an animal spirit in it. So mm -hmm. basically I like to daydream a lot and somehow turn that to a job, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. And it's such an exciting day that um, we've been playing with the, the new release for a while and then, you know, now it's like ready for everyone to give it a shot and I'm very excited to see what, you know, like everyone will be like playing with like yeah. come out with a new idea you know what so what are people gonna do with it yeah. you know how are people gonna interpret it and you've kind of been like totally blowing my mind uh, today oh, with you. how yeah. you have been <laughs> using it so let's take a look at it let's see what we've got um, and what is the kind of first feature that we are going to be diving into today yeah so it will be the generative fill tool okay Sorry. all right <laughs> excuse my pronunciation um, but yeah so uh, if you guys want you can also go on to stock Adobe v.com slash free, mm -hmm. where you can download all the free uh, stock image to play with. Mm -hmm. So all the photo I'll be using today is from a stock website that are free to use. Um, so you can see like what other idea you can come up with and post on social media and tag us and share with us. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, for those of you guys just tune in that haven't seen the new tool, right? This generated fill tool is really awesome. So for me, one thing I like to do when I'm working on uh, on my art piece, I like to visualize it and try to figure out like how can I push this concept to better, right? Mm -hmm. Either it's like a different perspective or merge with like a flying clouds, mountain, castle, whichever to into an element. But uh, most of the time, this problem be bothering me for a while. I was like, what can I do with this missing part of the canvas? Because yeah. like you know, like I have to clone the whole f f like forest mountain mm -hmm. to complete this piece, right? But for now, like all I really have to do is to just press C and then expand my canvas right here and then hit enter. And all I can have to do is here. Oops, sorry. Oop. I will select sky real quick and give it a minute. And I'll use selection tool to add. So I'm selecting all the space, like sky and above, like mm -hmm. the empty canvas. And I'll hit generate fill and then just hit generate. Or um, usually I could type in like different comments like, oh, if I want blue cloud or like mm -hmm. different sky color. But I just wanted to show you guys like how cool this is for my workflow, right? Because mm -hmm. like I like to add like a main subject into my my thing, you know. So this is like okay, I create another space to add like a giant animals or like wolf or like elephant swimming in the sky, right? Anything so you can really there. like create your base here, and that yeah. I mean that's amazing. So already like you have this larger image to start working with, and then you can get you know crazy with it. And I know that you get like you said very very spirit animal esque, very magical with a lot of your pieces, and this gives you like the space to do that. So. Yeah, so now we have like three different options. I can like go ahead and select like which mm -hmm. one I like the most. Mm -hmm. um, but also, if I feel like oh, this like this is not what I wanted to do, I can also like just go back and type like um, what was it? Let's say blue sky with cloud. Mm -hmm. That's spelled correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue sky with cloud. 
I'm gonna hit generate again and then to get different results on this. So for me, like the workflow most of the time used to be like I have to go on the stock website, look for like what color and lighting will match mm -hmm. the, the canvas I'm using, right? But right now with look, one click and few words, like like You got it. The unlimited possibility result. It's just like fascinating, you know, just like, oh wow, like that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And you can keep generating too um, in that properties panel so that like if you generate, you know, and you get a couple of those and you and you like it, but you want to test some more or you want to keep changing that prompt, you can keep going and you don't really have to leave I know. Photoshop, right? Yeah. Which is like, you know, as a as a compositor, that has got to be like just incredible to like be able to do so much of that work here. Um, I also just want to like welcome in a lot of the people who are here in chat. I see Paul Weaver, who is one of our OG viewers, coming in. Hello, Paul. It's good to see you. I see Fred, Dr. Derp, uh, Annika. Welcome in. Um, holding down the fort in the chat as our moderator today. Thank you so much. Um, we also have Rainbow and uh, Sam. Welcome in, guys. Uh, good to see you. And so I see you're like kind of expanding the canvas now, like even more, and like bringing it mm -hmm. um, up. So uh, what are we gonna do here? Also. Folks in chat, let us know. If you have any cool ideas for things we can add into here, definitely let us know. Um, and maybe while you um, experiment with that um, and maybe what you'll do next there in the canvas, we can pop over to um, my screen a little bit just because one thing I'd really like to highlight, um, especially for those who are kind of just diving into uh, the stream today, um, you might be kind of wondering what um, our little <laughs> task bar is so our contextual task bar um, is our new friend um, and he, uh, he just kind of hangs out here whenever you are working in Photoshop is something that you can very easily position around your canvas um, and this is a uh, really multi-purpose because like I have uh, if I come over here and go into my rectangular marquee tool I can come over and start selecting and what it does is it suggests what your next step in your creative process might be so it asks you do you want to use any of these features if I snag um, some other tool um, that actually might change. So if I grab like um, my clone stamp tool um, for a, maybe that's what I'm using uh, in my process or we can use uh, like our gradient tool and start messing with that, you know, depending on what tool you're using, it will change um, and it is also where you will be able to access your generative fill. So when you select something, it'll ask if that is what you want to do and you can select that. It will open up the region where um, you can type in your prompt um, and just kind of go on uh, throughout your progress, your, your process. So um, yeah, yeah, I really like the toolbar because like, like when I first got into Photoshop, it's mm -hmm. just like there's a lot of amazing tools, but mm -hmm. you don't know which one to pick, right? There's like so many options and you don't know what yeah. to do. And right yeah. now you have that bar right underneath it, just like, mm -hmm. hey, these are some of the stuff you can try. Either you are have like a tutor teacher or like tutorial or you don't know. At least like right now you can easily to yeah. find like, oh, like, wow, this is like way much easier to understand compared to before design. Oh, uh, like where is the tool, right? I, I agree, and I think, um, and we can pop back over because it looks like you've got some <laughs> yeah. beautiful stars kind of coming at the top of your canvas here, which I love, um, but you're absolutely right. And I think um, one of the things that I was thinking today while getting in and really using that contextual toolbar um, is that I always have my workspace arranged so that I have all of my tools, what I use most often, um, where I can see it. Um, but with that toolbar now, uh, or that taskbar, I might not have to have my workspace as cluttered as it is sometimes um, when I'm using a certain workflow because the things that I need kind of come up in that taskbar for me already and I don't have to have everything where I can press it immediately. Um, it just mm -hmm. kind of organically shows up for me, so I love it. Yeah. Um, and for this, I just keep expanding my canvas. Mm -hmm. I select the top part and you can see in the history right here. I select it to say, hey, give me a starry night, you know, mm -hmm. like skies just to see. I see chat ask, uh, hey, when? It's available right now already yeah. in the beta, right? Absolutely, yes. So if you would like to uh, check out these new features for yourself, um, as long as you have a uh, Creative Cloud subscription and can download and install Photoshop, or you are using a uh, trial of Photoshop, you can uh, download it, you can update uh, in your Creative Cloud desktop app uh, and get 
get all of the new updates that are available now. Um, so that includes the uh, contextual taskbar, that includes the uh, generative fill uh, feature, that also includes some of the other tools that we will be getting into um, here in a little while, including like the remove tool and all mm -hmm. that stuff, which I'm pretty excited to show you. Um, so you'll see everything you'll see here today is something that you can uh, just with a download or an update of your app, you can get your hands on today. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any idea, feel free, uh, I mean, feel free to type <laughs> in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, let us know if you guys yeah. have any wacky ideas because we've got, I feel like we have an excellent base here where we can start to like add stuff in. And I am so fond of your work and I feel like Ooh, I can already you. think Ooh. of like cool stuff that. that you can add here. That looks so Cool. That is so fun. Yeah. yeah. So what did you just like change the the like expand to? Yeah, the edge all I there? did was expand the canvas both mm -hmm. way, select the the empty space and click generate, you know, because for me it's just like um, when I'm like making my artwork, is like, I need a base layer. Right? Mm -hmm. I need a. It's like when I'm trying to tell you a fantasy story. I need a scene. Like where is this story happening? Yeah. Like, what is this like with the mountains and sky, right? Mm -hmm. Like all the elements I want to add it in there. So with this, like I can just like kind of like keep on going, like trying a lot of different results instead of like oh like I now have to look like ten different stock photos to figure out mm -hmm. like which one will match the best. But now I can just sample the photo and then you know just like ex keep expanding, which is like. Yeah. Incredible, yeah. And this has got to be, you know, just like kind of a total massive door opened for the concept phase, you know, because like you said, you pro you're, you know, you're spending all this time finding the individual images and stuff, but here you probably work through more ideas than you normally would because you can test it so quickly um, that you might not have had time to even test or expand upon or see like could this be something cool you yeah. could probably do 10 you know a dozen things rather than like the two ideas you might have set out for yourself before mm -hmm. this feature um, yeah so let's see we've got people saying add a meteor um, that, could, that could be cool like a big like meteor coming in um, I'm just gonna select yeah listen add a I'm gonna try it. Meteor. Meteor. Should I try, do I need to add anything else? Or? Yeah, I feel like we need a little, uh, some more words for the prompt. So we could do like meteor, shower. Shower. Um, oh, I should probably select a bigger area then. Yeah, probably. Like maybe um, a, a bigger part of the sky from the, the edge. Sky. Yeah. <laughs> we could say like meteor, shower, um, falling towards the ground or um, I don't know what else could we do oh somebody was saying like the northern lights too that could be a fun one to try after this uh, meteor shower falling with northern lights <laughs> with, with northern lights let's try it let's see how crazy that I don't gets. know if that make any sense but we'll try let's it, see what so. it makes for us maybe it makes something crazy yeah, so I'm still kind of pretty new to this tool too. So I'm like mm -hmm. every day I'm like, oh, I'm just kind of playing and figure out. Sometimes the result is like um, is like a surprise, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Or like sometimes it's like, oh, oh, that's kind of cool. That's actually really neat. I feel like it gave us. Oh wait, shower. I like that one. I do too. I wonder yeah, if we pretty cool. selected more of the sky, but that one does. You could like blend that into okay, everything. Okay, let's try to do nice. more sky because I do want to see uh, the whole thing. Yeah. I think I'll just keep the Northern Light for like something else later. Mm -hmm. This is like very different. But it could be like, it could be a fun one just to return to because I feel like Northern Lights are gorgeous and that could be a really great thing to experiment with um, generative fill. Uh, anyways, uh, Art of Visual is saying Nebula um, and <laughs> we were talking oh, we about were nebulas with Nebula earlier, which was really, really fun. Um, let's see oh, what nice. else see. we've got. Um, yeah, after that, I just like. Wind Spaceships point. in the sky. Oh, wow, look oh, at that. Oh, wow. I replay the whole sky, but also the mountain. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. OK. I like okay. this. It's kind of different. That one's really nice, yeah. I think, like, what, what was the new tool you told me about is the removal tool. Do you think we can remove it? Yeah, we probably could. I haven't Honestly, tried it. Honestly, if you sure. rasterize, maybe? Rasterize it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to do this and then there see. There you go. Da, da, and da, da, then da. make the. Yeah, do that, and it should just so. This this remove tool is like 
one of my favorite things right now, um, and it is a huge light, uh, lifesaver, really, um, because of how um, versatile it can be, because for what you can use the remove tool for, I would have used like three different tools. I would you say know? like, if you are a, a product photographer or retoucher, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. remove tool is like, Holy! Oh like, yes! Wow! I saw Absolutely. I saw some product photographer test down there just like whoa like you're missing a patch or a curtain or like something doesn't look right just mm -hmm. one click don't even have to worry about clone step or anything and just like done yeah yeah absolutely oh, and it's like that good. worked really well in my yeah. opinion um, and uh, oh yeah one other cool thing I want to show is the the new tool is the light gradient right yeah 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 because yes. that could be really cool to kind of start to um, tone you know, maybe the mm -hmm. the image and all yeah, that so stuff. Yeah, so I usually use a gradient tool to do like color corrections. Mm -hmm. Well, not a color filter, I would say. So usually I'll drag it, and then um, in the older version, I'll have like make it, and I have to switch to the different layer, and then from there, I have to like keep going back and forth. Mm -hmm. But from the new version, I can actually just go like live mode, you know? I can just change like where I want it to be, mm -hmm. and then like, up and down, you know, like let me dim it down a little bit. So I changed the blending mode to soft light or uh, overlay. That's usually like the two more I use for like the heavy in. Mm -hmm. If I want to change any color right now too, just to see like, hey, maybe I want more orange color oh, on the yeah. bottom. I can just do like something like this, which is like you can't really do this like in the in the older version, right? Like yeah. this is like super amazing, at least for me, mm -hmm. for someone who uses that gradient tool like time to time. Mm -hmm. If I want to see this, is, it used to be a lot of stuff, but now I can just like. Just kind of like go over this. Is like, oh, all right, this is like this is great. I want like more blue on the top, maybe. Actually, yeah, yeah. I actually really teal? like how you did oh, add like kind of the warmer tone down there because there, when we did the generative fill, there was kind of like that warm tone at the seam there mm -hmm. where the sky met the trees, and I feel like kind of um, bringing that out really makes it look super cool. It looks very fantastical, which I feel like is a theme, but you somehow manage in your work to add so much magic and fantasy to a piece and like not make it, not overdo it. Oh, thank you. Know you. I mean? Like <laughs> it's like so good. Um, and so this is like, now this feels more Ted yeah. to me and I'm excited. We're seeing it come together. Um, yeah. And then like beside the live gradient tool, right? Mm -hmm. the, cool, the other new thing they have added is the uh, adjustment preset, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys like open your Photoshop, you can find it again, this is in the beta, uh, mm -hmm. the beta for it. But with this is like also you can like just to see the preview of all this like photo filter on the top. Yeah. And then like you can pick the, oh, I, I really like the black and white. The black and white one is yeah. pretty good. You can pick like something you really enjoy. I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you click it, so it's not just like applying a filter on top, but also has like the adjustment layers. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go in and like, you know, change the kind design. If you don't like it. it, yeah, it's like, oh, like this is a good start. Like I want to make it more of my style, of my taste, right? Mm -hmm. So this is something really cool. And you can like turn it on, turn it off just to try it. And all of this filter have like a different uh, adjustment layers in there. So you can just like try it all out. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's like lightsaber because like, I used to have to like, Go into like Lightroom and then you yeah, know yeah. jumping between. I know you can use the steps. camera raw in uh, Photoshop too, mm -hmm. um, but you can also apply multiple like filters on top of it, so it doesn't have to be one. So you can like you know just like yeah, tune add into the multiple way you like it. kind of make a combination, whatever works best. Um, and this is just like really really great because already I feel like you've you've added a few things there that have like transformed the mood um, and just blended everything and made it feel so cohesive. Uh, and I love it. We've also got Speedy in the chat is saying, can we add a massive unicorn? Um, and I feel, <laughs> I, I don't know if we can add a massive unicorn, but it might be cool to have like a teeny tiny unicorn like drinking from the edge of that. I mean, I guess maybe I it's try. a lake. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it, like if it was small, you know, like just say like a, you, honestly, you could just say like oh, zoom in, here. little white Well, horse. I didn't even realize how far we expanded on the canvas till I, I started zooming in. I thought it was a pond, in. but it could be a lake. I was like, wait, it might be a that's lake. an actual lake in the detail. Wow, like we expanded the canvas really far away. Yeah. I'm going to try to um, We could also say, can we have horse? the sky being reflected on the pond or lake? Oh, oh we right. could do that. So we could select it and we could just like throw a new pond or a new lake in Let there. Let's see if I can do that. So this is going to be like new to me too. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very exciting to like try this all out together. I'm just gonna do a quick select. Wait, which layer is this on? Pretty sure it's that. 
new. Ah, right here. Sorry, Perhaps. chat. Perhaps. I have too much there. Right. I'm just gonna turn it off. Oh, there we it go. Is, it is that one, the bottom part. It's just yeah, because we expanded so so far. Um, I wonder if there's an easier way to slide. Man. Honestly, you could work? just lasso it real quick. Oh, with a lasso, it doesn't even have to be. See, I'm still clean. so used to like the yeah. old way that with the new journey tool, you can literally just select the whole thing yeah, and then like type it. in. And then um, do I need to type say, any keywords? Or, yeah. Yeah, let's do. Let's say something like um, just uh, a large lake. Large with, lake. Uh, reflections on top, or you could with say large lake in the center of a valley. Because that's kind of what it is. It might that might be adding too much context, but we'll see. If it doesn't work out, then we large will. lake with star reflections or yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. it'll actually because there's something there already. I think that it will reflect what's up there without us needing to do it. So we could just say large st um, still lake. Try that. Large still lake. Yeah, and okay. then just see if it does it with. The... A little bit nervous, but it should be fine. <laughs> I think it'll do it for yeah. us. So yeah, like trying all these new things is like really fun. And mm -hmm. also like um, the other day I was like, hey, like what will what would be like if I'm trying to merge two completely different photos together? Like mm -hmm. would that work, right? Because I ideally, oh, it works a little bit. I guess it kind of like it reflected the the yeah. trees and stuff that were right next to it. But yeah, maybe you do need to add like with some more details stars and stuff, yeah. reflected on the surface. Or I can just know. use like a simple like retouch, like copying mm -hmm. the copying yeah. the sky. Yeah, you could do that as well. Vertical like flip and then like a uh, screen blending. So yeah, like I, I was saying, like doing all this thing, like um, the other day, I was like, would it be cool if I tried to merge like two completely different photos together to mm -hmm. see if it will work or it will break it? So in this photo, I have this really pretty, is it tulips or I think that's poppies, poppies yeah, yeah. Poppies. poppies, poppies. So I'm just gonna go create a canvas. So the files might be a little bit large and slow, but it should be fine. I just wanna point out that this is the thing I was mentioning earlier when I said that um, Ted had been <laughs> like really surprising people today. This is kind of amazing. Um, and as sometimes like I, we, you know, he was fiddling with it and like sometimes it takes a little finesse to like figure out what a good combo is, but like when it works, it's insane. So I'm really pumped. Yeah, so I select the sky from the other photo and then select a little bit of the sky uh, from the original one I want to blend. Mm -hmm. So basically what the general fill tool is doing, if you don't type anything right, it's sampling from the original photo mm -hmm. and then like cloning and make like the whole way I understand it. From yeah, my like understanding. Fill it. Yeah. So now I'm selecting both part and then I'm just like, hey, I want you to fill that gap in between. You know? Without putting a prompt. Yeah, so, I'm just like, so selecting with his work it and or, then yeah. yeah, and then not adding a prompt at all and just hitting that uh, that fill button, and then it should do. Um, Ideally, ide it's supposed to you know, work. But the, the experimentation oh, yeah. is amazing. Yeah, there we go. We got we got some like dramatic clouds that is kind of mixed in together. And sometimes it, you know, like I said earlier, it takes a little finesse, like to figure out which one you like and um, what could uh, what it could be. But you know, you could keep you could keep generating and figure out one that you want better or color correct and yeah. and. See, now just blend. Fil throwing like this filter and it looks pretty good. Yeah, you know? like it's like pretty good to me. <laughs> it's like anime sky, <laughs> you know? know, like very dramatic, very very cool. So it's also um, like if you want to just like have like a nighttime theme with the mm -hmm. or the night or daytime theme with the night nice sky. This yeah. could be something that you can try to play with, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I love it, and I think it's really cool to like kind of see this blend, and it makes me like wonder like what other people might blend together. And so if anybody in the chat has some ideas for things that you might like to uh, try to blend, because I know a lot of you are probably getting your hands on these features today. So I want to know what you're going to be blending um, together. I want to know what kind of things you're going to be putting into the night sky. I know we had some suggestions for nor Northern Lights and Nebulas. Um, so are you going to go for that, or are you going to go for the massive unicorns <laughs> like we have had going into uh, the chat today. Um, Rodrigo, <laughs> can you put a dinosaur on the grass? We could probably attempt to put a little dinosaur on the grass. What do you think? Maybe like a little secret little Easter dino? egg. Nobody would we'll know see. unless they watch the stream if okay. we like zoom in and put a little, a little dinosaur for everybody. Um, I'm gonna reduce this so it doesn't break my computer. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a yeah, good idea. Yeah, because I have multiple window opens and then it's like I see the, the 
the wheel. <laughs> it's like Loni. I was like, oh, okay, I should, wheel. I should slow down on there. Uh, I'm gonna just try to blending everything into one layer. Okay. So it's better that way. Um, put a little dino. Yeah, a little dinosaur. Right Maybe here. we can do like a little dinosaur just hanging out. We could say um, dino small dinosaur. Small. How do you spell dinosaur? Uh, D I N O S A U R. Dinosaur? I need <laughs> if I, I'm a I'm that. not. <laughs> I could draw you a dinosaur, but I can't spell one know, for you. But you know, uh, I think I think that that yeah, small dinosaur. like small dinosaur, and it then just work. like see. It might give us like because honestly, what would be cool is if there was like a little silhouette. Yeah. Honestly, I wonder if we could put like some kind of Loch Ness monster in the Oh, in the oh lake. you actually see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like kind of hanging oh, out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, can oh, we see no. it? Oh, yeah. it has a reflection too? Okay, yeah, that's really cool. Drinking. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, that's great. I like the, I think I like the one with the I like orange. I like that All one right. the best. Um, thank you, Rodrigo, dino. for that idea. I love him. This I like that awesome. the comment says, uh, was it Dr. Dirt? Uh, it says the ideas for cosplay photography are endless. Oh yeah, that's, oh that's you cosplay, so true. right? Yeah, yeah, I cosplay. Yeah, yeah, cosplay. We did a I shoot together. We did do a shoot, we did a shoot together. together. I do weird really cosplays though because I just not weird. <laughs> it's cool, unique. <laughs> yes, but, but I do cosplay, yeah. and you're absolutely right. You could like create your own cosplay bas backgrounds um, for this, um, so I could make myself like some like battle scenes, like wear mm -hmm. my armor. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I I I went to like uh, anime convention all the mm -hmm. time, and then. Uh, it's just like seeing people like we took photo right and suddenly a lot of time we have to like Photoshop a lot of elements yeah. back in oh, there. Yeah. But right now I just be like, oh, remove the background and then use this and like mm -hmm. generate like really cool like building and then like hero fighting scene with like Absolutely. lighting and fireball. And so, one of the things mm -hmm. that um, that Andrew was doing earlier was he was um, generating, uh, and maybe we can like kind of experiment with this later on. Um, he was generating like starburst effects and like textures and patterns and ah. things with a black background, so that you could put it into Photoshop on top of something with it set to screen mm -hmm. um, and you could technically use it all to generate generate your anime you know cosplay background and the special effects because people want special effects when they do cosplay photography right. right the special effects for it which would be really cool um, and uh, someone say add a thunder to it so I'm gonna try yeah. something real quick. make it like Big dramatic. <laughs> is it thunder or a thunderstorm? Well, what was it? Lightning. Like tornado. Lightning, lightning? or um, I would say lightning would be cool. That kind of seems what like. What about like light, lightning tornado? What we could do it? like a lightning tornado. I feel like we could do a lightning tornado. Um, if you added people hiking, how would you tell it to scale to the correct size? For the most part, as That's I have been idea. working with, as I've been working with this, it has like judged the depth on its own very, very well, like to a surprising degree, because you selected a circle there and it put the dinosaur not only there in the right place, but it also faced the water. Yeah. So that it's like sitting. I would say there's probably like different options and you can also use the prompt, right? Give me like a larger person, I give mm -hmm. a small. This is pretty That's cool. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you could put that because it's. Oh, that one. Oh, wow. Hello. I wonder, because it's its own layer. It's yeah, its, its own, own layer, layer, totally. So I wonder if you could put this on a blending mode so that it has like the lightning coming in from the oh, space. Could. Maybe, it might be a little too busy for it. But, yeah, it might be a little bit too busy. But it's very, <laughs> very cool. <laughs> right, next thing I just need the firefight be like, hey, put those two together for me. Yes. <laughs> Am I like, replacing my job? No, it'll be fine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so now I just swapped the host guy to mm -hmm. uh, the to this, you guys to suggest. something yeah. a little a little more um, atmospheric, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, you can really get in here and it's you because can... see, we started from here mm -hmm. all the way to like this Crazy. with the little dino, and yeah. then now we got the whole like lighting going on. This Amazing. Is really fun, yeah. It is super, super yeah. fun. But there's a lot of like, I feel like um, really great practical um, applications for these and ways that this also, like obviously all of this stuff really supplements your current workflow, right? Like yeah. all of these things come in um, and uh, do like these gigantic changes, but they also, even though they're like big 
um, features that like do like these extraordinary things, you can also use them for like small fine details and mm -hmm. stuff too. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do um, is point out specifically just how well um, the remove tool works in certain situations. So if I could real quick pop over just so that I can remove something real quick. We're just gonna take this dog out of here um, because I think, I know everybody will see, be sad for him to go, um, no. but one of the things that I would have done you know, before is I probably would have just selected this whole thing and with like my patch tool and tried to like come over and like line this up perfectly. Um, and then once I um, release it, then I have like these weird edges that I have to go through and try to patch perfectly. Um, and so I would end up needing about three tools mm -hmm. to remove something completely um, and without issue. Uh, but honestly, now if I come in to the remove tool, I can just honestly paint over the top of the whole thing and it will repair it. And typically maybe I'll need to tap it one or two more times, but um, it should remove it there and make it look like it's still following the grass here and the uh, fence in the background, which is really great. Nothing is um, duplicated, really. Um, I could maybe use the patch tool to continue that um, white board down there if I wanted to. But um, somebody in the chat earlier was talking about like the depth and the size of things and how, um, how does it do with you know kind of judging that. And notice here that I've subtracted from here and it has actually, even though it's removed that dog, it has still kept the depth of field there um, in the image. So um, it has generated a replacement for the sharper area and for the blurred area as if it was never there in the first place, which is um, really, really useful when you're working with other photos that might have many overlapping elements. Um, so it definitely makes my life easier. Mm -hmm. um, so now I've noticed that you have oh, yeah. brought the drama, <laughs> Ted. So I was <laughs> so. reading the, one of the questions mm -hmm. from me. Um, let's see, uh, can you mm. remove the background and then do generate fill in Photoshop beta like you can in Adobe Firefly? It's um, exactly yeah. the same, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's exactly the same, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and let me look through and make sure I'm not oh, missing yeah. any other questions as you kind of maneuver. Yeah, so um, while you were the dramatic <laughs> showing them the removal tool, so I went in and you know select the I select the sky and the empty canvas, and I type in sunset, Amazing. golden hours, mm -hmm. clouds, and I was trying to think about like uh, the specific term for this type of like fluffy. Fluff fluffy cloud, mm -hmm. but I couldn't think about the term, you know. So uh, a lot of time, like if you know the actual turn and keywords, the, it will help the AI to understand what you mean and trying mm -hmm. to like create the uh, closer to you what you have in your mind. Yeah. But yeah, so I just put that in and this turned out like really, really cool. Um, obviously, like you can still do some like color corrections on the foreground to make it blend it better. Mm -hmm. um, but also remember that like, on the bottom right, right here in the properties, you'll always have three different options or you can just keep generating to something you like. Mm -hmm. So this one looks really good too. And then even for that, so yeah, it's like for me just like, oh, like this is really fun, you know. Amazing. Yeah, same and one it there. is, it just adds so much more depth. I think that one's my favorite one, honestly. Can I just put um, a lake in it's here? It's like really, yeah, yeah, put a lake. I think one of my favorite things to experiment with, honestly, is lake. adding bodies of water with generative fill because, um, yeah. you know, when you go through and you kind of like try to, you know, find the right one for you. Because sometimes you do, you know, you generate something and then you, mm -hmm. you know, you go through the different variations until you find whatever is right for you. Um, the, uh, just the blending into the scene and the reflections in the water oh, no. for them Oops. is just really, really <laughs> cool sometimes. Um, uh, oh. There we go, see that putt. See? Don't be like... scared guys. Sometimes <laughs> it, might, it might look like really dark at first, but mm -hmm. there's always that option B and C, right? Yeah. That looks crazy. That's Whoa. so cool. Yeah. I saved the third one. Okay, but the second one. The second one is pretty good, and you can Whoa. also regenerate as well if you want to. Um, detail. Oh, I was about to curse. Sorry, I was like, hold it. It's amazing, you know. It's just like, it, wow. it, it, it does inspire that kind of awe. It does. 
<laughs> it did symbol uh, the reflection of the mountains mm -hmm. and then the, the, the sky. That's what I was hoping the for sky. the other lake in the, the previous image. Um, I think we just have to so keep, keep trying, trying few times. Yeah, a little bit just like, to kind of wow. like get it going there. But um, yeah, there's a lot of really fabulous things. Uh, and in your properties like panel, going. as you start to, yeah, just keep, just keep, keep expanding, keep, going. keep making it. Um, as you go through, um, uh, your piece. Every time you are creating all of these, um, you're creating a new layer. All, every time you add something with a generative fill, um, and you can go through and actually look through all the the properties panel at all of the information for it. So mm -hmm. you can go back to previous prompts um, and see what the prompt was for those. You can go to all the generations um, uh, and variations of certain prompts uh, for that layer, um, and uh, it's just really cool to kind of keep track of what has worked, you know, what keywords have worked um, throughout um, mm -hmm. as you kind of figure out how to, you know, get what you're looking for. Um, let's see, I want to make sure I'm not missing any <laughs> other. Oh, uh, look at ooh. it, look at it. Zane. I like it. This is something I would like pose mm -hmm. as my work, you know, just like, wow, look at, look at this guy. Like the that blending transition is, really, is really, really nice. Yeah, that was a great transition. I think that first one is my favorite. This like that so dark pretty. to red, the red is like, ugh, that's oh, amazing. Wow. I'm yeah, just amazed by it. We're just both staying and it's like, oh wow. <laughs> Well, we're both impressed, but <laughs> yeah. just like, didn't, I didn't know what the result was gonna come out. Like we practiced rehearsal a little bit mm -hmm. before the before the live, but, but you can like, never really yeah. know, right? Like we yeah. don't know, you know. Yeah. Which is like, okay, this is, this is about to be really exciting. That and one then, is know. really like you've got to save and wow. keep that. I want to see that pop up in a in a project. Um, is it possible to generate seamless textures? Um, I don't know about seamless like like seamless textures that are gonna like repeat like repeatable patterns and stuff seamless. at the moment. But there's definitely the option and opportunity to. To generate think, things yeah. that you can create, you could, but I know you. But you, can you would have to. I would. In, I would imagine yeah. you'd have to make it repeatable or tileable yeah. or 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 something like that. Um, how do we get back to view prompts that's worked previously? Um, so if you can, maybe you can pop over here um, and I can show you folks um, just something that has worked. So I'll come back to our dog um, image here, and uh, I will just. Let's, I'll just throw a, um, it's very sad, we don't have our doggy anymore, um, but I will Ooh. just throw like a puddle. Okay, we'll just, we're sad, the dog's not here, we will put a sad puddle. Uh, so let's do a small puddle sitting in the grass. We'll see if that gives us a kind of puddle real quick. Um, and then at, you can see over here in my properties panel, um, which I have open, you can see the prompt. It says prompt and variations and the generate button. And as I, um, once this loads, it'll show you the prompt and then it'll show you the different variations. And then as I make changes to that, you can always kind of come back to it. I don't know how I feel about this puddle. Um, we might need to select a larger area for me. That's what I will do real quick. So honestly, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's see if, I'm gonna hide this one for now, actually, um, and we'll do just a larger generation area because I think we just need a bigger space to really get it going, which is something that I've noticed, um, and I said this earlier, is that one of the things that I would keep in mind as you folks kind of get into um, using these features for the first time, um, something that I realized that I needed to keep in mind as I went through is the amount of space and selection that I actually um, put down mm -hmm. uh, as I begin to use the generative fill because I really, I don't think I was leaving enough space in the selection at mm, first as I first right. started experimenting with it. Um, and I think you need more selection space than you really think you do when you first try it out. Yeah, um, it's just simple like yeah. the, from original photo. So let's see. I was thinking I... about it earlier when I'm trying to replace the leg. I was yeah. using selection to it. You're like, wait, what are you doing? Jennifer or select and do it. I was like, oh. I wants to do it out there because of the depth of field of the image, mm -hmm. I think, which honestly is kind of cool. So let me just find a different image. Let's come over here. Let's here's a here's another dog. I will bring a dog back. We'll bring a dog, dog back so we don't have to be without a dog. Um, and we will let's throw a puddle underneath 
him. And I bet you that will work just fine. Let's go ahead and say small um, puddle in the dirt. Let's see. Maybe I should spell dirt right. Maybe that, <laughs> maybe that is a requirement for this to go well. Um, and like while you're working on that, I'm playing with this expending. I'm still expending stuff. It looks amazing. Okay. Oh my I God. think. Oh, oh, sure. Ooh, yeah. So from what we just did, I just keep expanding sideways. So now it's a sixteen by nine. Will mm -hmm. fit on your uh, oh, desktop yeah, on background your desktop? perfectly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so you like brought it over towards the yeah. towards the right there. So now it's oh my gosh, that drama. That looks amazing. Okay, I did actually I end up getting a puddle like, by the way. Yeah. Oh, you oh, got you, your puddle. Yeah, we <laughs> got a puddle. Oh, we can do two. Yes, I didn't got, know that. We got both of them. <laughs> okay, so we've got our we've got a puddle here, and so this is what I was talking about as far as like looking and seeing what is available there. I'm gonna move my properties panel mm -hmm. over here just so that I can see. So I'm selected on. The this um, uh, generated layer here. Uh, and what I see is that you can come in on that layer and I can see small puddle in the dirt. And I can see all of the different variations that I have available to myself, which that one actually looks pretty cool. It kind of put like a rock there. That looks like a pretty good puddle. But if I wanted to change this to something else, I could also do, um, let's just say small puddle instead of small puddle in, uh, in the dirt, just so that we have you know, a generation that is using a different um, prompt. So um, cool. And what you'll see is I will still have these variations, and then I will have the variations of the new thing that I generated. And as I select through those different variations, it'll change the prompt here so I can see what it was mm -hmm. that I that I typed in in order to get those variations. Yeah. So there's so there's you know more. Here we go, wow. and you can see them. So there's prompts and then it uh, it shows Wait. the prompt here but then if I mm -hmm. come down here to these previous ones you see the, the prompt changes and I can go back That's and be it. like well what did I put in that made it look so good when it yeah. did it this way well I added a little more context and you I can, can see that. You can remove the potto, yeah. you can add a potto, you can have whatever you want you know. It's Which so I feel fun. like is really yeah. helpful to um, figure out like oh, what did I say that was like enough context, enough <laughs> detail and everything to really go for what I was looking for. Um, but that's just a, a, a quick tip for all of you folks who are starting to make your way through um, using the feature mm -hmm. uh, in these first days. So um, shall we come back to the drama screen? Yeah, <laughs> the I'm drama. Sure feel like, uh, this is pretty good. I'm like really impressed by the results. So I was mm -hmm. like, wow, like it, it's like imagine your photographer, or just if you like take photos, right? Mm -hmm. you, you go mm -hmm. somewhere and then Sometimes you look at it and say, like, oh, I want to add just a little bit, make it wider, and yeah. now you can do this. I mean, for me, this is like very, very useful tool. Mm -hmm. you know? Just like, well, like, I can just keep expanding my imagination, you know, just to make it like super huge, and then just come back to, when you come back to the original where we started, you know, just like, oh yeah, I'll just turn layers off one by one, right? So we added the side, we added the sky, yeah, all added the, different the blending. Things. And then, you know, well, I flattened the layer so you couldn't really see but the original one. But it was just one. like a really, really super wide landscape just of oh, kind yeah. of a little bit of sky. Okay, I have Do we have it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So library. that's what we started with. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still getting used to library. So yeah, this is like before and then after, right? Mm -hmm. To all that. You can kind of see. That's crazy. That's it's amazing. Like right here. Right like, there. Whoop. Um, <laughs> And then now all of a sudden it is like another realm, really, yeah. um, which could be really cool uh, to play with, yeah. like. And for you me, know. like last week, I talked about like how I use Firefly to like create mm -hmm. storyboard and mm -hmm. mood board. But now with this, right, you can just like keep going. And then if you want to go back and make sure like everything's like super sharp and detail, you know, you can work on it like way easier mm -hmm. than compared to like um, before the update. Just like oh wow, like where I'm gonna find this perfect red sunset that like, lined yeah. up with blending with the stars and galaxies. It's mm -hmm. really difficult, you know. So, yeah. But you can just like, you know, I feel like too, because the times that I have uh, composited, like sitting there and like trying to type in the perfect thing to find a f uh, the perfect stock photo, mm -hmm. like hoping it's what you see in your head. Yeah, right? like, exactly. Like, does this image, a stock image of this sort of thing even exist? Can I even like bring my vision to life? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and now if you can write it out, well enough, you can you can do it. So I'm loving these sand dunes. I'm excited to see what we kind of come up with okay, here. So I've been trying to, you know that scene from the, was it Mad Max with like giant oh, yeah. sandstorm? So I've been oh, yeah. always like trying to figure out like, hey, like 
I want a photo of that, right? But it's really hard to find a, a stock image of the sand, mm -hmm. the sandstorm. Like a sandstorm yeah. of or, or um, yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Scene you're so talking about. I, I guess it's like pretty dangerous to capture it, <laughs> yeah. so you don't see people. So you don't there. see a lot of images so, of up close and personal. I'm gonna try to see if this <laughs> works. I have no idea. So I, I didn't try this. So hopefully it'll give me like a really cool result. If it does. That means I can go home today and now I get to make some really, really cool concept art based on that, you know. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay. All that right. That looks about right. Okay. No, maybe okay. Not. <laughs> that looks like a interesting, like, It looks like uh, almost like a, a cobra coming up out of I the know. sand or something. But that's cool. Oh, wow. You know, that looks actually super, like, they super, super cool. They added the green into that. Yeah. Oh. Um, we've got uh, Nate uh, asking when exactly does this shift Photoshop? If you uh, are already a su subscribed, uh, you already have a Creative Cloud subscription and um, you have the uh, Photoshop already, you just have to update it. All you need is an update. Mm -hmm. um, you can subscribe, uh, grab a Creative Cloud subscription and use it today. If you do not, you can also check out these features if you download a free trial of Photoshop as well. Um, so yeah. It is, it is it is ready to rock right now, my friend, um, if you would like to uh, check it out. Paul has a question, but I'm not sure, because I, I don't really Will you be able to font? add yeah. a font to Firefly um, on the web and in Photoshop? Um, if you can clarify exactly, um, are you wondering if like the fonts from Firefly will be available in uh like that feature will be available in in Photoshop, or um, let me know. From my understanding, it's like you generate on Firefly, and then you can use that to save in. Yeah, in yeah, because and then yeah. we can actually pull that up real quick. Oh, look um, at that! We can add a, to... a thunder. Oh, that's so, amazing! So at first I put lighting, but it gave me like a, a roll light on the street. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you kind of have to figure out like how to communicate Wait, it gave with you, the like, AI. A street light? It gave me a street light. <laughs> so in okay. a way, you have to kind of be like kind of specific. But not too specific, mm -hmm. yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like talking to a, a young mind, right? Mm -hmm. The AI is trying to understand you. You're teaching you. So yeah. then I type thunder lighting. You know, mm -hmm. It's like okay, that's easier to to make that. So you yeah. definitely have to be pretty intentional yeah. um, about. And uh, when I select where to uh, put it, mm -hmm. I put it. I make sure I select the ground and then the the storm because that's like in, in lighting photography that I saw. It's like starting from the top and then end it, right? Maybe mm -hmm. not all the way to the end. But I just want to make sure like the result will like come out great. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, from the fonts available in Creative Cloud, you know, I'm not sure exactly um, if there are going to be changes to the fonts and if those will be available in other places as far as it's um, uh, how it's working with. Adobe Firefly, but um, a really great place to get all those informa that information or to talk to somebody who would have an answer um, on the spot for you about those things, about anything that's coming up, um, is uh, by joining the Discord for Firefly. Um, they always have really fabulous folks in there who are very knowledgeable about everything that is upcoming um, and things that you uh, maybe can expect to see. Uh, and if those things are not coming, if you're looking for something that um, is not in the works currently, it's also a great place to make some suggestions and talk to the people who um, work towards the the future of the um, of the service. So definitely join the Discord, mm -hmm. um, I would say, if you have any specific questions about that. Um, but for those of you who are maybe popping in and you are unfamiliar um, with the fonts and all that kind of stuff, um, you can head over to firefly.adobe.com and check out the text effects uh, where you can create pretty cool text prompts and things. Um, and you can also check out mm -hmm. generative fill on the web. Uh, I have a quick question. What are yeah. those ship called? Like kind of pirate ship? What, what are those called? Sail ship? Like sails, yeah. Ship sails? sails? Ship, ship oh, sails? are you doing you, like a, like a, like a ship, ship uh, S-A-I-L-S. S-A-I-L, -S. like Ship sails, yeah. Ship sails? Is that sail ship? ship yeah, sail? ship sail. Okay. I feel, I feel like. Because I type in ship, it gave me like a, yeah. a different kind of ship. And I was like, okay, so I know that will work. But you I could just say need to pirate out. ship with sails. Yeah, I wasn't sure like if I type pirate ship with <laughs> pirate, I was like, oh, I want to make sure, you know. But because like they're sampling all the image source from uh, Adobe Stock. Oh, there you right? go. Oh, yeah. yeah, perfect. That's what I was looking for, this 
Oh, Ta-da-da. great! Oh, like that. Perfect. Oh, I know? love it. I love it. Where you at? Oh, that's cute. That works. Da, da, da. That's cool, yeah. So I have a little bit of minutes left. Uh-huh. I guess I want to try to show that um, if I put some of my work into... Yes. I want to see, like, you know, like, I, I'm always curious as I hate. What would my work look like mm-hmm. if I can, like, expand it like crazy, you know? Yeah, Paul says so. sand yacht. <laughs> it's kind of a sand yacht. It's a vintage sand, sand yacht. yacht. Yeah. So this photo I took in uh, Redwood National Park. It's about five hours drive mm-hmm. from here, you know? So mm-hmm. that's my friend. And I added the jellyfish, and I turned it into a winter scene. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to choose this 16 by 9, and then expanded it. Do, 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 do. So yeah, if you guys are not familiar with my artwork, this is the type of work I make. So this is like, you know, fantasy, dream, mm-hmm. fun stuff, and you know, just like, kind of wanted you to look at it just to relax, yeah. right? And this must like be like really great from your own perspective of like, what does the rest of my work look like? Yeah, I mean, I've been there, I know it. what it looks like, but yeah, I don't but know like, what it looks like. But and, what does it yeah. look like, you know? Like I'm expanding my yeah, imaginary yeah. world, and I'm just like, oh. It's gotta be, boom, that's awesome. That's so cool. Like, wow! It almost like because because you have like library. kind of that, um, like kind of fisheye sort of like perspective yeah, going with that one that. piece, Wait, and so it kind of full, continued full it. Screen? Wow! Wee. Oh, that's so pretty. And it even brought some of the um, like the snow yeah. closer there, so you've got like those that's like really atmospheric. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. I like it. I'm gonna keep trying. So, oh, I, I remember I tried this one was like really fun. So this one is a little bit like mix of like <gasps> photography and uh, wow. AI, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna try this to see if it will give me like a cool result, you know? Oh yeah. yeah. If it is, ex- like expands the um, uh, the underwater. Yeah. Hopefully it works. In the scene. <laughs> I remember this like, is kind of an abstract shot. piece though. So yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it's very I, different, you know, yeah. it, It's possible that it doesn't, but it, I bet you we could get something really cool. Because also, like the AI is trying to understand, is that a mountain or mm-hmm. is that like a lizard? Like what is that? But Oh wow, we did it. <laughs> what? I know, right? Look at that. That's gorgeous. Can we full screen these yeah. two and check these out? Oh my goodness, we'll that is full screen amazing. this one. Wow! So, oh, I can't imagine what it looks like if you try on your concept art. Cause you do I know, like, yeah, I, I should know, do right? some of my paintings and stuff too. Um, Holy by moly. the way, we have about five minutes left, so if anybody has any um, other questions or anything um, that they would like to share, definitely let us know. Um, this is about the last uh, few minutes here before we um, switch over to, because we've got, we've had like back to back to back. Back to back uh, to back, yeah. Uh, creative uh, things happening here Should today. So do don't go anywhere. Stay tuned because we do have more segments coming up after this, um, but it will be the end for Ted and for I. Me, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, like this one I've been like, I made this in like square, you know. So I'm just like, oh, mm-hmm. like I want to look like, uh, make it longer, like a, so I can. Super long. I it'll fit in if like it would Instagram. Add, Maybe mm, I'll make it longer. I don't know. I wonder if it would, if you made it longer, if it would add more Pl- animal. Probably not. <laughs> like clouds, because we, we were try. trying to do that. Earlier. We're trying to do that. I wonder if it will. Watch. This is how you figure it out. But I wanna, <laughs> do I have to simple it then? No, you don't have to. I'm not trying to set, including the fish in the simple just to see. If it yeah. generate anything, you know? yeah, you could do whatever. Because I want. know if I don't do it, and I'll pro- and well, I actually still do it, but I'm just curious like, if I purposely like experiment. That's it, you, know? you know, that's what we're yeah. here. Experiment. To do. That's how I like... figure out like, oh, when you put two different photo mm-hmm. back to back, you can actually merge it in the middle. That's how you figure. Yeah, give you like a wild result, but which I had not seen anybody did, attempt did, 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 yet. And oh, it that's... took it away. It okay, did maybe take it like away. Wait, but honestly, yeah. if it was like, you know, a landscape and then it had like the two fish there in the center, that mm-hmm. would still be pretty well balanced. So I'm I gonna feel try like it would work. This. That's right. this, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to clear this, expand in that, and then maybe put this onto this side. I'm going to try to merge them together, see if it works. Let's do it. If not, you know, this is how we're going to end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have about two and a half minutes left before oh, we do, do have to really take off. Oh, I should do really slow. So, no, no, no. Um, we are going to get, actually, um, some of your... Uh, 
uh, links to the chat so everybody could check out yeah. your work after this. You definitely would not regret checking out Ted's amazing portfolio. It is a fabulous, fantastical, magical place to be. Um, and uh, we've got more uh, awesome stuff coming up next, too. Yeah. But this is where... Ooh. Kind of, kind of it, not. But it's still like you can see how you could take to that maybe the subject matter or the yeah. genre was a little closer related. And oh, because like I selected the person by accident here. I'm going to go a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. I was like, why is it messing the color? But yeah. So yeah, it does like expand in that world. So mm -hmm. like in my head, like when I create all these pieces, they're like individual different world. Mm -hmm. Then I've been like wondering like, can I stitch them Can all in together as like a giant universe? Mm -hmm. So this is like where I'm like starting experiment. Like, hey, this that looks really cool. That looks amazing. So it's like the cloud fading into the into the, fog. the mountains. Yeah. So it's like kind of give you that. I love. That is a little bit scary, real. You know, like. Yeah, actually, <laughs> honestly, I love I Whoa. love just having the lake. Like it expands, expands there, so it's like there's a lake, and yeah. that wolf is like guarding the mountains, you know, kind it's of scary looking good. down. Actually, it is really cool. <laughs> Reminds me of like Princess Mononoke. I love Princess like, Mononoke. That's my favorite. It's the that's best. my favorite I Studio know. Ghibli movie. <laughs> Wait, this is really cool because like I could just go in and fix all the detail and then make yeah. actual bigger like bigger piece. For it. Yeah, I want to <sighs> see. I want to see murals from Ted. Is what I want to see. <laughs> murals from pressure, Ted. Press is real. Um, uh, let's see, um, a lot of people who are just like super excited, wow, 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 um, talking about uh, some of the limitations of it. Honestly, I would say jump in here and see what oh. you can do, see how far you can push yeah. this. We do have to take off though, we're about out of time here, oh. <laughs> um, but it has been absolutely fabulous hanging out with you, Ted. Know, it was very so good, good to see you, you again. Yeah. I know! We haven't uh, been able to see each other in several years now. I know, years, right? So. Yeah. But um, thank you all so much for joining us. Like I said, please stay tuned because we have more uh, creative content coming up next. Um, definitely give Ted a follow um, so you can check out all of his work. Uh, we will get some links in chat so you can check out these features for yourself. And we will yeah. see you another time. Yeah, thank you. Good to see you, Ted. <laughs>